going on, Gemini? I hope everyone is doing good. How you doing? Thank you so much for tuning in. If this is your first time watching me, how you doing? Have a seat. Get comfortable, handsome. Get comfortable, sexy. Let's go ahead and see what Spirit wants to say. Let me go ahead and invite some positive energy in. What a day, what a day. <laughs> Yeah, so Gemini, I hope everyone is doing good. I missed you guys so much. I'm a little distracted because my day has been what a day, what a day. <laughs> and I'm just trying to like, you know, stick with the program and just keep moving forward. Okay, so I don't know if some of you may be feeling like that, but Spirit is saying stick with the program and keep moving forward. Let's go ahead and see. <clears throat> What messages your ancestors and spirit guides have for you? Thank you, ancestors of me and Gemini's highest good and light. Thank you for the love and the clarity. Sorry, y'all, I'm going to bump the table. Um, thank you for the divine protection over me and Gemini. As above, so below. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Gemini, I hope everyone is doing wonderful. I appreciate all the likes, views, and shares, and comments on these videos that I post for you guys. By the way, check the description box. I do have um, new prices that I added to the menu. So somebody let me know, you know, not everybody wants a full blown out reading. They might resonate with the reading that you're seeing like today. And you might have a piggyback question. So each question is $5, okay? All the information is in the description box. Hit your girl up and thank you for your support. Let's go. <clears throat> so at the bottom of the deck, we have opportunists, okay? Um, let's find out about this opportunist. I can't even talk. <laughs> let's find out about this opportunist. Spirit, tell me more for Gemini about opportunists, please, and thank you. Tell me more. <clears throat> what messages do you have for the collective? Okay, so we have new love. Okay. Um, this is so funny because, oh, and then you got floodgates at the bottom. All right, so some kind of risk is, um, you know who else had this card? <clears throat> I believe Taurus. Taurus had this card. So you might be dealing with a Taurus. Um, but new love is definitely showing up on the radar for you as far as communication is concerned. Um, you have something very positive coming towards you. Um, it may require you to take a risk on love. I feel like that's what the opportunist is there. Um, and look, it came right back out. <laughs> So Spirit definitely wants me to talk about this. So let's find out about this new love, our opportunist. Why is this black magic is there? Lord, can I get the cards, please? Thank you. <sighs> I'm telling y'all, today is one of those days. I know we do have a new moon. We're not even going to talk about the moon energy right now. Please, Farrah, I don't have the energy. <laughs> um, a lot of abundance, good news, balance, and partnerships. Somebody could be coming back that you see as an opportunist that wants to come in and bring some type of um, healing. Um someone you have a strong bond with or had a strong bond with I don't know we'll find out <clears throat> what I say not a knight of cups okay Pisces Cancer Scorpio energy let's talk about this offer so the love offer is on the table oh yo <laughs> So you have the three of pentacles and you have the nine of pentacles. Wow. This is like a universal completion because nine and three is 12 and 12 is all about universal. Okay. Um, 
The Three of Pentacles is definitely about <clears throat> collabing a successful partnership or connection, something you're working on, um, something is being paid off or some type of abundance is coming in. Um, or you're just going to be connecting to something successful, some kind of uh, financial um, money. The Three of Pentacles can be about teamwork, um, building your craftsmanship, uh, working, whatever it is that you're working on or whatever is being worked on in business, um, it's, it's very successful and lucrative for you, okay? And then we have judgment at the bottom of the deck. So somebody's definitely wanting to come in with some type of uh, awareness, like try to get your attention. And we have the tower. So whatever this person is going to say, it may be a little shocking is what I'm hearing. So this is going to be very shocking to you, Gemini. <clears throat> okay. Um, but I think it's a good shocking. And I mean, when you have, look, the emperor out here, it just pop the fuck out. You have floodgates, okay? So I feel like this is going to be very shocking to you um, when this person shows up. You could be dealing with the Aries or somebody that's a father figure or a mature man. Okay, uh, give me one more for the emperor. Give me one more for the emperor, please, and thank you. For the collective Gemini. <clears throat> Thank you, Spirit. Oh, wow. <laughs> I told you, you have the Two of Cups and you have the Moon. This is hidden. Um, it's definitely a strong... Um, during this full moon, you might meet this person. Or new moon. It's a new moon. Alexa... What's the new moon? The new moon is a phase of the moon in which 0% of the moon is illuminated as seen from Earth. It follows Alexa, stop. Alexa, what's the next new moon? Alexa, what's the next new moon? The next new moon will be on August 16th at 5.38 a.m. Alexa, what's the next full moon? The next full moon will be tomorrow afternoon at 2.32 p.m. Thank you. So this full moon. All right. <clears throat> and you know they say the freaks come out at night on a full moon. Um, Alexa, what's the symbol for full moon? From moonorganizer.com. The symbol of the full moon day is the snake. Mm, so this full moon has to do with a lot of transition. So this 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 full moon is bringing in some type of um, awareness, like we saw with the judgment card. And um, this person may show up around the full moon um, <clears throat> to disclose some information to you. And, uh, you know, you do now know that this person is showing up, but... They have some things that they want to reveal or this relationship has something to reveal to you. Why is this so shocking? Because you didn't expect this person to come in. You've portrayed this person to be a opportunist. You have seven of pentacles. Yeah, somebody's definitely wanting to come in and invest. Spirit, tell me about the three of pentacles, please. And thank you for the collective Gemini. <clears throat> Well, all right. So again, like I said, you could be dealing with a Aries, Leo, or Sag, somebody with strong fire energy. Um, somebody's definitely uh, trying to um, manifest. Um, oh, that popped the fuck out. Okay, so you have the Queen of Wands with the Five of Wands. And the Three of Pentacles. Some kind of conflict. What is this conflict about? 
Okay, so whatever the conflict was between you and this person, they're definitely coming in to get your attention, ask for forgiveness on top of some really nice things that they want to present to you um, with judgment being here in the Nine of Pentacles. Spirit, tell me about this judgment. It's going to be a shocker to you. Your cards is easy breezy. Yes, Empress. Look at the Empress and the Emperor. I can't fucking make this up. This is you and this person. A divine connection. This is a soulmate connection, especially with two of cups and partnership being here. Yeah. So <clears throat> this is going to be a shocker to you. I feel like you're the one who's on the receiving end um, when you see this person shows up. Why? Why? Because there was some type of, um, you have your defenses up with the seven of wands. You have your defenses up. Why? Why are you in conflict with this emperor? Why are you in conflict with this empress? Take it how it resonates. Mm. Okay. Because you put you put an end to it. Yeah, you put an end to it. You made a decision to put an end to it, but they're coming back in. Mm. <clears throat> they want this relationship with you. Why is this emperor? Tell me more about the emperor and the two of cups. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It just knocked the floodgates off. Yeah, this person has some, some type of um, successful. You go from the five of wands to the six of wands. So this person definitely wants to bring in some type of recognition about you and this person's connection. Okay. Tell me about the six of wands. <clears throat> You got the Eight of Wands. I mean, it just keeps getting better and better. Um, you have your defenses up in the Seven of Wands, but the Eight of Wands and the Six of Wands is letting me know that's 14 Wands, which is the Five of Wands. So it's going to be some type of recognition and apology. Um, somebody's coming in to confidently let you know something. They're making a, a confident move towards this connection. Eight of Wands is bringing in some mystery. What is this mystery? With the moon. Clarify the moon. Oh, if one more card pop over. <laughs> King of Pentacles. I'm trying to tell you. This person has an abundance of um, stability that they want to bring in. Hmm. Now, you know, the emperor and the empress operate out of two different energies, okay? Um, but this forward movement and this positive outcome and the floodgates only make sense for the king of pentacles to be here. I feel like this person is definitely stable and grounded. They want to be a provider towards you or they want to help you uh, with financially is what I'm hearing. <clears throat> you may not want nothing from this person, but they feel like it's their duty. Yeah, Six of Pentacles, generous offer. Like, Spirit keeps repeating itself. You got the Six of Wands and the Six of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles. You got some money that this new love is coming in with, okay? Now, it could be somebody you've known from the past, but this is your soulmate connection, okay? Um. Wow. The bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Wands. Yeah, this person finds you very attractive. You're going to find them very attractive. Wow. <clears throat> okay, so they want to come in with this generous offer. King of Wands. Lord, you got a couple of lovers. You got several lovers coming into you. Hmm, who is this King of Wands energy? Tell me more about the King of Wands. This is the Emperor's energy, but it's also the King of, you know, Pentacles. Tell me about the King of Wands. Oh, you got the King. Okay, thank you, Stella. It's two divine counterparts here. Let me tell you. 
Y'all both have strong sexual attraction towards each other. And then with the empress and the emperor here, this is letting me know that you and this person go well together when it comes to starting businesses and when it comes to having a family life. This is the mother and father of the deck. And these two are the risk takers, the king and queen of making shit happen power couple power moves with the king of pentacles being here gemini that's letting me know that y'all have some investments that y'all supposed to be doing together and that's what this person wants to bring out this is what this person is showing up to tell you about you have the ten of swords they want to put an end to the hurt and the pain by doing what with this moon Tell me more about the moon. You guys are very intuitively connected towards each other as well. Um, you know, you have you have the wands and you have the emperor and the empress. So that's all about movement and stability. Strategically moving to bring this union together. They go to lovers. Some of you, there is going to be several lovers, but there's one in particular that you have a connection with that you can't let go. Exactly. They got you stuck. Mm-hmm. The hangman energy. Okay. And this is a coming. <laughs> you got a completion and you got a new opportunity. So somebody's definitely coming in to travel towards you. And you're going to be shocked when this person shows up. Let's go ahead and pull some um <clears throat> let's pull some uh love oracles. I'm not really sure why you feel this person is an opportunist, though. Hmm. A money chaser. Um, it says, let me see. Thank you, spirit. So you have an opportunist, and they go to king of earth, okay? So I feel like this person wants to take some risk. And this person is being um, guarded to come towards you. And it could be a Aries that's coming in unexpected with Uranus. Okay? Because Uranus is about sudden or unpredictable uh, changes. Um, it's also about, you know, creating something authentic. Okay? And that's, that's this Aries energy. Okay? Someone who's willing to do whatever the fuck they got to do to make shit happen. Okay, being brave, being bold. And I feel like whatever this person is coming towards you is going to be a risk on your heart and a risk in your finances, Gemini. But your guardian angels is saying that we're bringing these floodgates to you. Okay, the king of earth in this reading, because you have a divine pair with the queen and king of, of wands and the emperor and the empress, that's letting me know that's you and this person mirroring each other. Okay, when it comes to movement, when it comes to business, when it comes to manifesting, when it comes to home life, happy life, happy wife, happy home, happy husband. Yeah, that's y'all. But <clears throat> the king of pentacles is your business, your empire. Okay, um, it says it right here. I can't fucking make it up. <laughs> it says empire. Okay, this is your, your provision, your money, your coins. Okay, and so divine is saying we're bringing something in, but it will take a risk for you to get with this person to do so. If you could put a, aside your differences. Mm. Okay, if you could put aside your differences and they're telling you that this is safe. Okay, it's telling you that it's safe. All right, give me some love messages for the collective Gemini, please. Look at this. This is out. Oh, yeah, look, this one flipped out. <laughs> forgive and heal. As you forgive and heal, your love life becomes brighter and healthier. So I feel like you, for some of you, that you and this person have healed and that's why you're meeting each other. Some of you, this is someone from your past that you have a strong, deep soul connection, especially with the two of cups and the lovers being out here. And you have two divine peers. That's letting me know that this is a power couple and they're ready for love. Y'all, look, I can't make it up. Okay, so once you forgive and heal, it becomes brighter and brighter. Yeah, you've been... um understandably guarded exactly with the seven of wands is what we saw okay but spirit is saying you don't have to be that way <clears throat> because um it's, it's showing me that there's a sacred um 
Okay, so you're guarded because you're scared of being hurt again. But you took the time to heal. Now you are ready to try love again. They're saying, but you you did the healing work. Why are you still sitting there acting like you don't want this? Okay. Children could be a factor in the, your love life. Um, or you both have healed the inner ch child uh, within you. Or you've known this person for a very long time. Because the Six of Cups is what's coming up as well. Okay. Thank you. Vivid dreams. Okay. Pay attention to your dreams as this connection deepens. Your dreams become more uh, pronounced and full of answers. So a lot of your dreams is going to give you answers about your divine counterpart. Some of you could have already been dreaming and not understanding, especially with you being a communication sign of all things. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> Sorry about that, Gemini. All right, so you have ecstasy. Didn't I tell y'all? Yeah, you and this person dream about each other. Um, sometimes you're going to have wet dreams about this person, but you don't know who they are. You don't see their face. You just know their presence, or you have these encounters of ecstasy in your dreams with this um, new lover or your old lover, okay? Um, enchanted love, a sacred bond that is divinely guided and harmonious. See? So that's your floodgates. And Taurus had the same energy. 